Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohaneze Ndibo, on Tuesday condemned the appointment of a Deputy Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, as the Acting Inspector General of Police. The group said the injustice of the federal government under the leadership of the president, Muhammad Buhari, was responsible for the growing agitations and insecurity in the Southeast. Bahane's National Publicity Secretary, Chief Alex Ogunnaya, stated this. Buhari appointed Baba in Northerner as Inspector General of Police despite pleas by Ohanezi that the Buhari considers that the president considered a South Easterner as the next Inspector General of Police. Baba is taking over from Muhammad Adamu, whose tenure Buhari extended for three months on February the 4th. However, Ohanezi National Publicity Secretary said it was most unfortunate that the president has chosen to sideline the people of the Southeast in his recent appointment of uh, in his recent appointment of service chiefs and now in the appointment of an inspector general of police. Owen Naya said it is unjust and unfair to sideline the Southeast in the security architecture of the country. Injustice promotes insecurity. It promotes all forms of crises and problems. With injustice, there is no peace anywhere. What is happening in Southeast today in form of agitations is as a result of injustice. So we the elders are now put in a great dilemma because the younger generation is attacking us and we have been telling them to hold on. Believing that the president would have a change of mind. We thought that the president would be concerned about the level of injustice, agitations and crises we have in the Southeast and would try to ameliorate these things, by, but unfortunately, he is not thinking towards that direction. It is most unfortunate, and Ohaneze will come up with a stronger statement, he concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? Ohaneze has now come out to attack Buhari and condemn him for snubbing the Southeast on the appointment of the Inspector General of Police. President Muhammad Buhari appointed in another Northerner as the Inspector General of Police to replace the outgoing Inspector General of Police in the person of Baba Usman Al-Kali, as the case, as the name implies. This has not gone down well with the Ohaneze Ndibu who have been pleading with the president to consider the Southeast for this particular appointment. But be that as it were, Ohaneze Ndibu has spoken out that they are going to be coming out with a stronger statement as they have been exposed, disgraced and shamed by the president's decision. Well, it is what it is. These are part of what you know people have been saying to this Ohaneze in the Igbos and Igbo elders that President Muhammad Buhari is does not care about what they think. All he wants to do is do what is in his mind, and that is the reason why he came back. He contested the number of times he contested, not because he had or has the interest of the people and the country at heart, but because he needed to make a name for himself, he needed to occupy the position, and he needed to get that power. And he needed to deal with some people that he probably had in mind. 
Don't forget that these people are unforgiven people, especially the Fulanese. They are always unforgiven. So, and that is the reason why. It's not because he, had the, he has the interests of the nation at heart. And that is what has happened. And as we can see, in all his appointment, he has abandoned the federal character principle, jettisoned the federal character principle at the end of the day, and uh, focused on his people, which to a very large extent is very, very wrong. The Constitution is there for everyone to follow, and he is supposed to follow the Constitution and uh, do things according to the Constitution. But unfortunately, he has abandoned the Constitution. Well, it is what it is, guys. The Ohanese Inigbo are now regretting their, themselves. The same thing as the Southeastern governors. Uh, they are now regretting the fact that they protected the Fulanese. Despite when Namdekano was shouting and making noise that these people have ulterior motives, they want to take over people's lands, they want to do this, they want to do that, they want to, they have come to take over your land, they don't care about you, do not believe them, but they refused to listen to Namdekano. Rather, they felt that Namdekano was just making noise or beating drums of war. But right now, what happened in Eboy State is a massive eye-opener to everybody, and they are all aware, they are seeing it as it is, that the Fulanese are not to be trusted. So it is what it is. If Johannese and Debo are still bent on one Nigeria, then we, it is what it is. If they are still bent on hoping that the president will consider them, then it is another thing entirely. Well, be that as it were, one thing is sure that this country as it is needs another leader or a breaking up might just be the solution to what is happening. But if they expect that Buhari will do anything in the interest of the Southerners, then they may have to go back to the drawing board and have a rethink because it does not in any way suggest that the president is um, going to uh, look in the direction of the Southerners for any appointment that, or any major appointment as it is or any major project as it were. Well, I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.